your new dental podcast, The Dental Voice with Dr. Delphine Barquero, creating one smile at a time. It's The Dental Voice. It's The Dental Voice. Is Costa Rica really the best country for dental tourism? Is there truth to the popularity of Costa Rica being a world-class dental haven and yet being the cheapest? Let's find out. Hello, everybody. This is the Dr. Delfin Barquero Dental Podcast, and I welcome you all to our YouTube channel. Dr. Barquero is an international lecturer and a well-known dentist touring dental destinations for 18 years now. So today's podcast is going to be about Costa Rican dental industry cost analysis and if it's worth exploring for dental tourism. Costa Rica's dental tourism industry has gained rapid popularity in the past decade for their high-quality services among the Latin American countries where dentistry has been evolving faster than anywhere in the world. The biggest reason is that the U.S., patients, even those with dental insurance, sometimes face more than double the cost of dental care. This has led to people seeking treatment options elsewhere, giving rise to dental tourism, especially in Latin America. Other countries have now been losing the lead attributing to a lower customer satisfaction due to insecurity reasons. Let's move on towards the statistics of pricing and other differences between Costa Rica and the U.S. Now here you'll get to know how the U.S. has been such an expensive country for overall health care as compared to other competing states within the same continent. Costa Rica offers the lowest rates for some of the most complex procedures like implants, veneers, dental crowns, etc. For implants, the cost in the U.S. can vary between $2,500 to $30,000 depending on how many and what kind of implants the patient requires. In contrast, Costa Rica offers a fairly cheaper range of prices for implants starting at just $850 for single implants to as much as $11,700 for all on four implants. This means that on average, Costa Rica offers 50% cheaper rates compared to the U.S., which is a huge savings for those without insurance. Now, if you plan to have veneers, Costa Rica can again surprise you with their super affordable rates compared to the U.S. This can be attributed to the fact that porcelain veneer prices in San Jose, Costa Rica, start from just around $500. In the U.S., the same veneers start from $1,200 to as much as $2,500, which obviously leads to the severely overpriced procedures that even insurance companies may sometimes not fully cover. Now, if we talk dental crowns, which is considered another complex and lengthy procedure, Costa Rica again covers you from the overpricing going around the U.S., and even if you don't have insurance, you'll be able to cover the cost, as the crown price in Costa Rica is about $500 to $600 compared to the U.S., where they charge you at least over $1,000 for the same process, which means you can again save around 50% of your money. While if we talk about Mexico, which is the biggest competitor of Costa Rica in terms of healthcare, the prices aren't exactly similar. Costa Rica has generally slightly higher rates offered when compared to rates in Mexico. Statistically, there's a price difference of around 25% generally among these countries, and it has some very clear reasons if you search up dental care forums of both countries as there are major differences between customer reviews for post-surgery success. It's obvious that Costa Rica is doing something right to appear on top, so let's explore the hows and whys of this country's rapid growth in the dental care sector. Now, to start off, I would say the number one reason for Costa Rica's dental care demand is the fact that they provide one of the highest quality treatments in the world, and that involves highly educated dentists and specialists, mostly graduated from U.S. institutions, having dental clinics opened here. The next important reason can be that this country has evolved their methods for dental procedures to latest technology equipment and applying the newest methods for more effective and efficient treatments, which assures less post-treatment fails. Costa Rica also gives their dental care providers some incentives like lower state costs and other input costs which result in the final costs being generally quite low and competitive in the dental tourism market, which means good news for those who don't have access to dental insurance living in the U.S. Another major attraction in Costa Rica is the fact that for decades, Costa Rica has been consistent in keeping their patients satisfied compared to the U.S., where the doctors are mostly found in a rush to not properly hear out the patients and give them enough time during appointments. Here in Costa Rica, this is hardly the case, as doctors have an aim of giving the customers maximum satisfaction and even providing them with their travel plans and recovery resorts to have a holiday-like experience alongside saving money on their dental care, especially for those who reside in the U.S. and Canada, since these countries have the highest dental care costs. The last reason can be chalked down to the geographical aspect of this country in relation to their biggest market, which is the U.S. and Canada. You can find super affordable flights from Florida and from other states to San Jose in Costa Rica, 
as the best dental clinics are present in this region for you to search from. Let's move on to the part where we talk about how Costa Rica comes out on top compared to its competitors. I'd say the main difference between these two Latin American states in the dental care field is their customer reviews and services. While other Latin countries offer lower prices than Costa Rica, as we discovered before, this doesn't come from more efficiency and cost reduction, but the fact that the quality of treatments can be a hit or miss. As of recent, in other Latin countries, they have had an increasing number of dental clinics opened, but not all of these are necessarily very particular about maintaining quality and have instead switched their motive to gaining more customers and taking advantage of the increasing dental tourism without offering optimum quality. This has led to several dental care patients needing repairs and extra costs after their treatments. This means that even as Costa Rica serves higher prices, other countries don't exactly have a cost advantage since their customers mostly leave needing more work to be put in so that the treatment can last. Several customers have given testimonials about dental thefts like these where the treatment doesn't live up to expectations and their money is wasted. Moving on to the part where we discover which state is safer compared to the other. Statistically speaking, Costa Rica is considered one of the safest states by the U.S. State Departments and is mostly peaceful and has great economic ties with the U.S. On the other hand, Mexico has been reported to have a significant amount of crimes against American tourists in the past, but it's evolving to be a safer place by the day. But if we see relativity, Costa Rica has had a cleaner record of this field, so now it's easy for you to choose from. We can now say that Costa Rica is a safe and welcoming country with a small population, but an opportunity to make a budget-friendly dentist trip alongside having a mini vacation experience. Plus, if you're looking into finding a guide to plan your trip for your dentist visit, their dental clinics will do all of this for you. They'll even arrange recovery resorts for you to have the best accommodation for the time your treatment requires, which may be a few days to even weeks. And to be honest, what more can you want to benefit from all this? The dentists are U.S. trained and also give you a great in-person experience and take their time listening to your symptoms and explaining the treatment to you for better understanding and satisfaction. You can easily derive the fact that they're trying to be as transparent as possible about the treatment to avoid any doubts and misconceptions. You can also check out the article Dr. Barquero wrote in the U.S. about Costa Rica being a safe and most efficient choice in terms of dental tourism. To access it, you can visit this link and find out more. You can also use the power of the internet to browse through dental forums to go through customer reviews on their experiences, where you can learn everything about how to make this trip the most successful and avoid possible problems with your travels. So this marks the end of our podcast here, and we really appreciate your time for listening today. Let us know in the comments, click on the link in the description, or email us if you're looking into touring Costa Rica for your treatments, and if you've had the experience, how did it go, and if there are any issues. Stay safe, everyone, and until next time, Keep smiling. It's the dental voice.